If you're familiar with Jane Austen, or even if you're not, Sense and Sensibility at Everyman Theater is a play you do not want to miss. <laughs> I play Eleanor Dashwood. She's the, the oldest of the three Dashwood sisters. Megan Anderson is one of Everyman Theater's resident actresses. She plays things a little closer to the, to the chest, you know. Um, she, she tries really hard to, to help her sisters and her mother. Um, you know, there's no father now. Like in that time, the man, you know, was the head of the household and now he's not there anymore. So somebody's gotta help them navigate this and she's trying really hard to help everybody out while she's feeling all of these things. She falls in love for the first time and then that's left unresolved for a very long time. And I've always been a fan of this story since I was a teenage girl and was like, meadows and rainstorms and drama and romance. But just like for the audience, Sense and Sensibility was new for some cast members as well, including fellow resident actor, Jeffrey A. Russell, who plays love interest, Colonel Brandon. I hadn't seen uh, Sense and Sensibility um, before I, I knew I was going to be uh, on board for this. Um, and I had not read uh, any Jane Austen previously before I started research for this. So um, entering the world of, of this was something very different. And uh, you know, this, this guy, he's, he, he's, he's a good, decent man who um, is seeking love in his way and um, there's a connection but it's it's a very um, quiet uh, existence that he that he has so it's it's fun to play that sort of thing fun to play that kind of role and fun to play in a production with a storyline that moves in unexpected directions it's not uh, sort of wholly linear uh, mm -hmm. you, you know People who come to see it, of course, they know they're coming to watch a play. And the way that we're presenting it, that uh, Susanna, our director, has a staging it, it's, it's very interesting. It's yeah. very theatrical it, and you know, it's fun. If you think you're going to be like in a stuffy drawing room the whole time, you are so wrong. It's like it keeps moving. It's so funny and so exciting. Director Susanna Gellert. I love this theater. <laughs> it's just a really fun place to work. It is a place where you feel like instantly at home, and uh, it's such a family of artists. It's so special. She worked in Baltimore years ago, so coming back to Everyman Theater was an exciting opportunity, especially now. With the exception of directing one play outside during the height of the pandemic, Sense and Sensibility will be Susanna's first time returning to an indoor stage. She says in all ways, the timing was just right. <laughs> And there's this thing about Austin and about this adaptation in particular that so completely gets at what it is to be, I think in particular, a woman in a very, um, a society with a lot of expectations, but really anyone in a society that has an idea of who you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to behave, how you're supposed to live your life. And looking at the play today, especially, we find all of these connections, like the way that the gossips in the play mirror exactly social media, and the sense that the world is always watching you, and you have to figure out how to navigate all of these people who are thinking things about you and expecting things about you. But coming back to this play after the pandemic, it's so full of life. It's so full of a sense of survival and excitement about being together and finding love. It feels so special right now. I am looking at a set right now that looks amazing, <laughs> but it is not done yet. So tell me what the vision will be for this room once it's done. So one of the amazing things about this play, about Kate Hamill's play, is the way that it manages to fit the entirety of 19th century England into the tiny little box of the theater and two hours. We travel from the countryside to a different part of the countryside to London, back to the countryside. It has so many different locations and that journey and that kind of, um, all of that need to go different places and be in different spaces, public spaces, private spaces, is a lot of how this play functions. 
Uh, we joke that we are building a play with incredibly heartfelt scenes around the transitions between the scenes. So I say all of that because the way this uh, set works, the way the theater works for this production is very much about transformation. It's really an empty space that has, um, has the theater as a container that we make into different spaces. It almost reminds me of Shakespeare in the way that it sort of requires the audience or asks the audience to use their imagination to join us on all of the journeys. Sense and Sensibility runs April 5th through May 1st, but you want to get your tickets now, just go to everymantheater.org. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>